having an eye-catching, engaging LinkedIn profile, I believe is the number one factor that will determine how successful you will be on LinkedIn. So I've reached out to my vast LinkedIn network and I've asked people to nominate and suggest eye-catching, engaging LinkedIn profiles, profiles that really stand out and stop the scroll when we're viewing online. So in this video, I'm going to highlight and review 10 of those LinkedIn profiles that were suggested. So stick around because that's coming up right now. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile, Mark Warnken. If we aren't yet connected on LinkedIn, by all means, send me a connection request and say hello. And as always, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. So what makes a great LinkedIn profile or an eye-catching LinkedIn profile? That's what this video is all about. I'm going to review and, and explain and show to everyone 10 great looking LinkedIn profiles. Now, I will say from the outset, it's not all about your job title or anything like that. And it's not about how many connections you have. It's more about, you know, what would stop the scroll when we're in our busy worlds of social media these days. Um, we literally have seconds to stop the scroll to engage a potential um, new connection or opportunity and that's what I'm looking for in the LinkedIn profiles that we review. Which brings us on to the first LinkedIn profile that I want to review and it's from a fellow Australian, Leanne Cohen. She's from Varsity Lakes in Queensland. I love her profile because it stops the scroll. It's eye-catching, engaging with all of the colours and clear information. So let's have a look at some of the things that she's done really well. I love her profile image over here and I love her banner image. Look how clear and explains exactly what she does. Restart, recharge, and revive your marketing. And then she's got marketing leap down here, her brand. Um, she's got her um, email address under here. She's got her website. That all draws the eye's attention in very quickly. Then her professional headline, I love that as well. She's got the digital success catalyst, speaker, Google specialist, marketing mentor. I help business and entrepreneurs grow straight away. So if I would suggest that most of us are left in no doubt from, um, you know, after a few seconds, we're in no doubt of what Leanne does. And that's what this is all about. Now, if I was to click on contact info here, she's got all of her contact details listed there as well. I say to people all the time, don't make it difficult for people to contact to you. So the vast majority of your success on LinkedIn will will come as a, as a as I suppose, as, as a result of your top box area, this whole section here, because once people start engaging with you here on the top, they're more likely then to start scrolling down. And Leanne nails this as well. So as we move to her about section, she's got no big blocks of text. So she's got short three line paragraphs only. She's using bullet points to draw the eye's attention as well. And as we scroll down further, we move to the featured section where she highlights some of the um, expertise that she has. So very engaging LinkedIn profile, all starting from the top. Now, the vast majority of people probably won't get too far past this, but if we do follow on with Leanne into her experience section, again, she's ticked most of the boxes, she's ticked all of the boxes. That's why I wanted to start with um, you know, a great looking eye-catching LinkedIn profile like Leanne has. I um I actually review and show Leanne's profile to lots of my students, you know, throughout my marketing classes, um, because it does, it ticks so many of the boxes. So well done to Leanne. Which brings us on to the second one, Jake Davey. Jake's from the United Kingdom, and I love what Jake has done as well. Jake Davey, Instagram marketing expert, international speaker, success coach. Pretty much sums up what he does straight away, and I love his professional headline. Here we go. I'll just highlight it here. I help speakers, coaches, and industry experts get their first 10,000 followers on Instagram and explode their brand. There we go. It's not about the job title you have. It's not about, you know, how many degrees you have. It's what you do and how you help. So it's all about how you help others. And he sums it up. He really nails it here in his professional headline. I help speakers, coaches and industry experts get their first 10,000 followers on Instagram and explode their brand. Now he backs that up here with his banner image. It's obviously of him speaking on stage, social proof, great looking profile image as well. If I click on the contact info, he has his contact details there, his website and things like that. So 
Scrolling down further, I love his about section. Let's have a look at his about section. Are you struggling to make sales and get more customers? Is your message getting lost in all the noise of social media? Do you want to build a brand? So he's asking you questions where we're most likely saying yes, yes, yes. And then he explains how he helps everyone with Instagram. Bullet points, um, ticks, um, draws the eye's attention. Will you be the next success story? I love what he's done here in his about section. Following into his featured section, you know, he's got some testimonials here. I now have five paying clients and have that have all been generated through Instagram. Thanks. So the social proof is there again. The proof is in the pudding. So if you're looking to really start engaging and starring on Instagram, here we go, Fiona, 22 clients on a monthly subscription. And if we follow down there, we get, um, he hasn't filled out as much as his, his profile is probably what I like, but the top is so strong and it's so clear being the Instagram expert. So that's why Jake makes the list of my top 10 or top 10, you know, great looking LinkedIn profiles as well. Which brings us on to the third profile that we're going to reviewing. And I love what Wendy has done here. Wendy Francis, emotional eating expert and nutrition therapy strategist, entrepreneur, podcast host, author and speaker. So I love what she's um, I love what she's uh, been able to put together here in her professional headline. Equally, um, her cover image, um, Wendy Francis, nutritional therapist, food psychologist. It does um, blend in some of the colors. Maybe she could reverse some of the colors a little bit to make that pop a little bit more. But here it's 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 very clear exactly what she does. You know, emotional leading and, and expert, um, entrepreneur, podcast host, author and speaker. So the author, speaker, podcast host, you know, builds her credibility ability, um, you know, build to, you know, standing in the community as well. So straight away, once again, I think most people would say, aha, I know what Wendy does, you know, maybe I should, that, that, that's me or I can understand that because I know someone, you know, who's in exactly that same area. Again, if we press the contact info, she's got her Twitter and her website details there. Some people really populate it with lots of details. Some have the bare minimum, but too many people I find don't even have any of their contact information. They make it difficult for people to get in contact with them. Um, Wendy hasn't done that though. As we scroll down, um, as we scroll down the profile, we um, I love her featured section. She's got very eye-catching, engaging images, that type of thing. So it really draws the eye's attention. Um, you know, it encourages to start clicking these things to see, you know, see see her credibility to to to, to gain further in information on on how she's helped others. Um, equally, if we we scroll down to the um, her experience section or her job history, she's got her current role there, um, populated by some images as well for social proof. Um, co-owner, co, um, co CEO, clinical director. She's done lots with her LinkedIn profile. Once again, and you're going to hear me repeating this over and over again, it's really these top sections that are going to be the key. Sorry, we didn't have a look at her about section. My apologies on this one. And this is what I do. I, I, love, I love what she's done. Are you an overcomer? And she's got her bullet points, or sorry, um, paragraphs there, no more, more than three lines. What she does, there we go, for 25 years, who I am and her mission, that type of thing. So, and a call to action, <clears throat> learn more about me. She's having a call to action to her website or listen to her podcast. So wrapping that all together as the third example, Wendy has a um, great LinkedIn profile, which moves us onto the fourth profile. Edward Zia, Edward's a fellow Sydney cider just like me. Um, I love what he's done with his LinkedIn profile. Not only what he's done, but he's very, very active on LinkedIn as well. I suppose having a great LinkedIn profile is only one part of the puzzle. We then need to be, you know, utilizing it and engaging with our network because otherwise, you know, it, it's not going to be overly useful. Um, you know, people might be drawn to you, but if you're not being active on LinkedIn, uh, over time you become invisible. But love what Edward's done. He has a great looking profile image of himself. Um, he's backed that up with a with a banner image or cover image. This one he's decided to have his wife and his family. Um, I think it's a great way of, you know, showing that he's, you know, a, 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 a very much an individual. He's, he's taken a step back from, you know, beating the chest, his corporate photo and decided to include his family, sums up exactly what he does here in his um, professional headline.
international master coach, creating master persuaders and influencers, veteran veteran Christian marketing mentor, meetup leader, et cetera, et cetera. So if I click on the contact info, he's got lots of details there, website, um, address, email, phone number, Twitter. He's, he's He ticks all the boxes. Um, if we then move along to his about section, really clear exactly what Edwards does. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a marketing persuader. He's a business coach. You know, he's a mentor, that type of thing. I love what he's done. He's further down here, the featured section, he's got lots of social proof. He's, he's, he, he runs um, lots of, you know, marketing meetup classes and things like that. Um, so again, anyone coming to Edward's profile, after a quick glance, they're going to be sort of, you know, pr um, you know, they're going to get an idea of exactly what he's done. And that's all backed up. Edward actually has a huge following. He's going to be ticking over to 7,000 followers, or not 7,000, 70,000 connections and followers on LinkedIn as well. The larger your network, the more opportunities that flow from that, I believe. Um, moving down to the experience section, he's... Um, you know, short, sharp and sweet what he does, backs it up here with some more images, um, his meetup group that he's organising and it's, it's a weekly event or a twice, a twice monthly event here in Sydney, that type of thing. So again, when people sort of land on Edward, he's um, really, you know, his education, you know, he's coaching, um, those type of things, um, scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Um, lots of skills and endorsements. You know, he's received 290 recommendations. You know, I don't know whether I've seen anyone on LinkedIn with more recommendations than that. So the social proof there for Edward, um, you know, is in spades. It's it's not in doubt. And he backs all of that up as well with, um, you know, being active on LinkedIn on a daily basis. Now, I also like that he has activated the voice recording, the name pronunciation feature. Now, I have a separate video on that for people who haven't done that and wanting to know how to do it. I will put the link to that in the in the comments below as well. But let's click on, um, you know, the speaker icon and hear what Edward has to say. Straight to the point, he just gives the correct pronunciation of his name. You do get 10 seconds to actually say the correct pronunciation on your name. And I've seen people get a little bit creative with that. And they, they, add, a, they add a bit of a, a tagline or a call to action as well. So well done, Edward. I love what you've done on your profile as well. Which moves me on to the fifth profile that we're reviewing. Uh, Christine Muller, or Christine Muller Griffith. Um, she's from Los Angeles. I love her LinkedIn profile because straight away it sums up exactly what her business does. Um, or exactly what her business is as well. Paint and sip parties. And she's got a great animated um you know, cover image up here. There's a photo of her over here on the left, um, her profile image against some art. So the idea is award-winning paint and sip parties, paint parties for corporate events, team building and staff appreciation. I love, it's straight to the point. It's so clear what she does. And not only that, it's actually a great idea. Just imagine going to a corporate event and we've all been to many of them and you might think, oh, what was, what's all this going to be about? But imagine having a paint and sip party where you can drink a nice glass of wine while, while doing some, you know, painting, that type of thing. I think it's very, it's a very creative idea, great business. And she sums it up here, um, excellent in her top box area. Very clear exactly what she does. If I click on the um, contact info, she's got her website, she's got her email, she's got her Twitter, that type of thing. So it, she's not making it difficult for people to contact her. What else can we have a look for on um, Christine's cover? Um, if we go to the about section now, now this is a profile where it's it's made the list, but her about section, I think she can do so much more. But the top area is so strong. The top area is so strong, but she's missing a little bit here on she could explain in a lot more details, you know, some some examples. But she backs it up with lots of photos down here. People get the idea straight away. So imagine if you're looking for your next corporate event or you're a marketing person and you're thinking we want to do something different at next year's. Um, event or, or whatever, you know, the social proof here with, with the images, that type of thing. So that's why I love this party. Now, it's not as full and in, in depth and, and completed as others, but I think it's so creative and it's so clear. And that's what it's all about on the world of social media, not only here on LinkedIn, but across all of the platforms. We need to stop the scroll. And when someone is scrolling through and they see this banner, this cover image, and they, they, they read, um, 
the professional headline, I think nearly everyone within a matter of seconds gets exactly what Christine does. And, 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 and not only that, but it's a great business as well. Which brings us on to the sixth LinkedIn profile that we're reviewing. I love what Emmy has done. She's ticked off so many boxes on her LinkedIn profile. Let's have a look at them now. Emmy, uh, I'm guessing the pronunciation is Nazoviak, that type of thing. Now, this is an opportunity where Emmy might have um, been able to put that speaker icon to get us with the correct pronunciation of her name. But that's only a minor point. I love her profile image, business boot camp for coaches, master your online coaching game, nice, great corporate photo of herself as well. Her professional headline sums it up. I love it. I help brilliant coaches stand out as an expert online and attract dream clients on repeat with organic content marketing, high performance business coach, LinkedIn specialist, speaker, talk show host. So speaker, talk show host um, adds to her credibility, but straight away, I help brilliant coaches stand out as an online expert, as an expert online and attract more dream clients. Point very clear. If we click on her contact info, she's got her website details. That's where she wants people to go. Um, if we scroll down the about section, um, I love what she's done here. See, there's a little bit about her up the top. Hi, I'm Emmy and I help driven coaches, etc., etc. if you've been thinking. But then she's all about you know, what I can do for you. I, I sometimes explain the mix of the about section is, you know, it's 25% about you. So the top little bit is, is, is just a little bit about you explaining who you are and your credibility. And then the rest is all about how you help others. And that's what Emmy has done extremely well. What I can do for you. And then the bullet points. Who do I work with? Um, no big blocks of text, only short lines, um, bullet points to draw the eye's attention, why it works, why this is different. Um, get started right now, call to action, website, um, that type of thing. Or just simply reach out on LinkedIn and message me. She's saying, hey, send me a message on LinkedIn, say hello, see if we can help, see if I can help you. So I love her um, uh, the about section or used to be called the summary section that scrolls us into the featured area now she's got lots of you know engaging you know client results client testimonials um, it's just fully populated with all of them so if someone was thinking of, of, of a business coach you know maybe to you know engaging with 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 a you know a coach themselves you know then they're, they're looking at the social proof um, you know we look at some of these here 12,000 in six months um, I was I have six thousand in just you know just a week or something. And as we scroll further down her profile, again a huge LinkedIn network, over forty one thousand connections and followers, which brings us into the experience section. The experience section just gives us another opportunity to tell our story, and she's done that. She's added some multimedia images, talk show host. Here we go. So she's not only you know the coach, she actually backs that up with her own talk show. Um, you know, social proof, people then get the opportunity to maybe engage with her, um, you know, listen to her talk show and, and, as, as, and that helps us her sales funnel. That's, you know, people then might be able to say, hey, you know what, let's, let's hear her voice, let's see what she's got to say. Um, and, and that, as I said, helps with her sales funnel. Scrolling down the bottom, lots of skills and endorsements, lots of recommendations as well. Um, so anyone landing on Emmy's profile, I'm again, quite sure, they're going to be in no doubt, you know, within a matter of seconds on what she does. So that's six LinkedIn profiles I've reviewed so far with four more to go. But go to the comment section below. Let me know which ones that are, you know, taking your um, or grabbing your eye, grabbing your attention. Um, let me know if you come up with any ideas that you're now going to be implementing on your profile. Um, so, yeah, go to the comment section below and, and let me know some of your thoughts which moves us on to the next profile. This is a fantastic one. I really love this one. Taser Valenza. There we go. Fantastic name as well. Straight away, I'm drawn to the banner image where it's got all the corporate logo symbols. Emmy winning voiceover artist and confident communication coach. So straight away, I'm drawn to that banner, the cover image, social proof of the businesses she's worked with. Down here to her professional headline, Emmy winning voiceover artist and master storyteller specializing in animation, commercials, narration, et cetera, et cetera. 
TED, um, TEDx keynote speaker as well. So I think we all get this one straight away. She's a voicing coach. She's, she's someone who, who, who does animation, voices, that type of thing. Um, great profile image of her over here. Nice smiley photo. Photo here of her on stage. Um, and all of the you know the businesses she's most likely worked with Toyota, Ford, Disney, ABC, Fox, Lucas Films, Warner Brothers, and it goes on and on. Really love that one. I also love the fact that she has the voice pronunciation part of this profile activated. See here the speaker icon. Now I know how to pronounce her name, Tasia, because I've already listened to it, um, but I wasn't quite sure of the pronunciation. So let's hear um, in her words how um, Tasia pronounces her name as well. Like Fantasia without the fan. Tasia. So there we go. We got to hear her fantastic voice. And she was very clever how she explained how to pronounce her name. She said, Fantasia without the fan. Tasia. Isn't that fantastic how she utilised the um the very simple feature? And more and more people should be actually doing that as well. So the top part of her profile is is looking fantastic. If I click on the info, as would be expected, we have websites, Twitter, all of her contact information listed here as well. Um, scrolling down to her about section or the summary section, it used to be called for any people wondering about the name term, it used to be called summary and now it's the about section. And she's got all of the information about herself. Um, a bit about herself, my passion. And then it's, if you're looking for a top female voiceover artist for your project, and then it works out about how she can, sorry, she explains how she can, um, you know, help you and, and you, your business and brand. Um, social proof, some of the companies she's worked for. As a voice artist, I'm known for my range and versatility, in addition to voicing commercials, narrations, et cetera, et cetera. For demos, visit her website. She has a call to action. Extra details are down here. That then leads us into the featured section. So lots of social proof listed here. Um, and there are some of them are YouTube clips that we can actually click on and hear her voice in action because I suppose, you know, one of the, the, the saying is the proof is in the pudding or, or, or don't actually, you know, um, tell me, you know, show me. So if we click on this one, it starts playing some of her commercials on her YouTube channel. She links it to her YouTube channel there as well. Same name, Tasia Valenza. So I really love what she has done with that part of her profile. What else? Um, her uh, experience section, all of her current and, and previous um, you know, job history, scrolling down, lots of endorsements and um recommendations received as well. So let me know your thoughts on Tasia's uh, LinkedIn profile. I love this one. This one was recommended to me when I put that post on LinkedIn. I was asking for people to recommend, you know, engaging, you know, eye-catching LinkedIn profiles. And I'm so glad that I've come across this one as well. Which rolls us over to LinkedIn profile number eight, Stephen Lewis, um, that we are now reviewing. Short, sharp and sweet, um, Stephen's a professional headline explains exactly what he does in minimal words, words that make your phone ring, copywriting for landing pages and website websites. There you go. He's a copywriter. But he's also got the benefit statement of words that make your phone ring. I love what he's done. Nice smiley photo of him. He's gone for something creative here with his banner image. If we were to click on the contact info, lots of details there, websites, um, phone numbers, email addresses, etc, etc. Um, scrolling down to the about section. Now, this is obviously something that we would expect someone like Stephen to be very strong with. It's not enough that your mum likes the way your website makes you sound. It's not enough that your English teacher would green tick the grammar. To convert website visitors to buyers, your website has to stand out in a world of hyperbole. There we go. So just as we're saying in the, um, we, we need to stop the scroll, Stephen's taking that further by saying the words on your website, and he's 100% correct, the words on your website need to stand out in a very crowded world. And that's what he explains he does. He, he, uh, he, does. he goes on to explain, you know, at his business, at Taylorist, and then he's our approach, research, focus, integrity. See how it's drawing the eye's attention with some of those uh, words in um, bold text, capital letters, recent landing page copywriting results. There we go. It's ex explaining the depth of people that he's been working with. For a surgeon in Los Angeles, there you go. For an Australian solar energy company, for an Australian aged care provider, it's a bonus if your mum loves your words, but we work for numbers. There you go. Basically what he's saying, yes, of course, we love it when our mums and our people we know love our work, 
Um, but, you know, we work for the numbers, the numbers being, you know, how many people, you know, clicking your website, you know, the end result. So Stephen's a very um, great humour as well. I've actually met him a few times. Now, he supports all of that with um, lots of YouTube here. So if we were to click on any of these links, he's got lots of YouTube um, videos as well. So check him out on YouTube. Um, you know, he's the content he produces here on LinkedIn. Obviously, he's able to share it across the other mediums that he's on as well. So social proof, people can actually see him speak, you know, see him in the flesh, metaphorically speaking, I suppose, on, on camera, um, you know, but that all helps with, um, you know, credibility. Big LinkedIn network, over 7,000 connections. He's um, correctly listed all of his experience with more multimedia presentations as well. Um, he comes from a journalist background. He lists his schools, um, lots of endorsements, lots of recommendations as well. So profile number eight, Stephen Lewis. I love that. The um, Someone who's a, who's, who's a word smart, uh, uh, what is it? A, a wordsmith, someone very creative with words and it really makes his profile stand out as well. Which now moves us on to LinkedIn profile number nine that we are reviewing and another fantastic one here. We have Robert Bruss and looking at Robert's profile straight away, his professional headline explains exactly what he does. I help you build your expert status faster with your own podcast and guest bookings onto other people's shows. There we go. Robert has his own podcasting business and he interviews other experts around the world. Um, and as his professional headline it quickly explains, simply explains, he will help you build your expert status faster with your own podcast. Nice smiley profile image over here as well. And the banner and cover image is engaging. It's intriguing. It draws the eyes with lots of different faces to grab our attention. So the top box area, he's absolutely nailed. If we click on the contact info, um, lots of details there, websites, email addresses, phone numbers, et cetera, et cetera. If people get past that top bit, they then scroll down to his... Um, about section, a little bit shorter than, than most. You do get 2,000 character spaces here, but look, he gets straight to the point. Um, you know, you don't have to fill the, the about section or, or used to be called the summary section. You don't have to fill it for filling its sake. Um, you know, straight to the point sometimes is the way to go. Um, and he has down the bottom here his website with a, a call to action as well. Scrolling down a little bit further, he's got a large LinkedIn network, over 11,000 connections and followers. Um, moving into his experience section, he's got more social proof here. Um, uh, Grant Cardone, I think, yeah, there we go. He, he, Grant Cardone, superstar in the online world. Robert was able to get him on his podcast. What a great coup that was. So he's got lots of social proof there in regard to, you know, the people he has, um, you know, been able to get onto his show and and, and, and recommending, um, you know, I suppose it's them coming onto his show validates Robert as someone, you know, who, who's a mover and shaker in the industry. All of his job experience here as well. Um, lots of skills and endorsements, as we would expect. And, and ending out with lots of uh, recommend um, recommendations as well. I strongly recommend Robert's Masterclass. I did my first podcast with Robert a few weeks back, and it was amazing. So there we go. That's LinkedIn profile number nine. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Robert's um, LinkedIn profile. On to LinkedIn profile number 10, lucky last, Paul Sheaf. I think... We're in no doubt exactly what Paul does within a matter of seconds. Great banner image, um, followed up by his professional headline, uh, creating engaging video content for business growth at Paul's Productions, customized video. Straight to the point, creating engaging video content for business growth. Nice smiley profile image of Paul. His cover image, um, the camera, um, his business logo, very creative here. I like how he's got this um, this little pop-up box where it says, picture you here. So, you know, we, we can start imagining ourselves, you know, being, you know, um, and, and, you know, recording videos and, and, and having our own video content as well. Paul has activated the um, voice activation as well. A few of the people that we've reviewed in this um, video have done that. So, Paul has been a little bit creative. You can press that and hear what he has to say. Contact info, as you would expect, lots of detail here. 
address, mobile phone, lots of websites. So Paul really nails the top box area, pretty much as everyone in this video, these examples has, has done. And, and that's the reason I've chosen, or not, not I've chosen, most of them were recommended to me. Um, that's the reason, you know, they were probably recommended and I've agreed to put them in my video to highlight to you because it's really this top box area that will really go most of the way to determining how much success you have on LinkedIn. Scrolling down to the about section, I love what he's done. Lots of information, um, three line paragraphs mainly, um, draws the eye's attention down here with, with bullet points, customized video productions, funerals and memorials, online, conference training, special events, bands, promotional micro businesses. Previously, I spent 30 years, so there's his experience. Um, technical background, call to action at the bottom with a con contact me. Um, he's got his featured um, content here as well, really stands out. Um, images, um, testimonials here, um, videos that you can, um, you know, uh, uh, engage and, and, and consume and, and help will validate Paul for the wonderful business he's got. Um, his business or his experience section, again, validating, you know, wealth of experience, been doing video production for over 30 years, board members, members of various organisations and committees, um, LinkedIn licences and certifications, volunteering experience, wonderfully rich you know, profile Paul's got. It's a great one to be finishing on. I think he's probably ticked nearly every box, every section. Lots of skills and endorsements as well. And a quick recap of all of those 10 LinkedIn profiles. We started with Le Leanne and her very bright banner and cover image and profile. She's from Queensland here in Australia. We then moved on to Kristen, or Christine or Kristen, her amazing paint and sip party. She's from California. From there, we moved over to Instagram expert, Jake, um, helping you uh, grow, get your first 10,000 followers on Instagram and he's in the UK. That was followed up by Wendy Francis, emotional eating expert. Love her profile like I've loved all of them. Edward, another fellow Sydney cider like myself, international master coach, which then brought us on to Emmy. Emmy's from Canada, great profile all the way through on Emmy. Uh, we then came on to Taser. Make sure you click and hear the pronunciation of her name. She's very creative in how she's um, explained how to correctly pronounce her name. Great international profile that she has as well. Stephen Lewis, our wordsmith, our copywriting expert, wonderfully creative wordsmith he is, and that flowed here in his LinkedIn profile or stood out in his LinkedIn profile. Robert, the podcast expert, and Paul's production finishes that out. So... Hopefully you all found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. If you're watching it on my YouTube channel, as always, hit the, hit the subscribe button below uh, to stay up to date with all of my video content. If you're watching it on my LinkedIn profile, um, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world as well. Um, let me know which of the uh, LinkedIn profiles that you know most was engaging and eye-catching for yourself. If you're following it or liking or watching on any of my other socials, give me a thumbs up, give me a like and a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. Mark Warren can Social Media Selling 123 signing off and I look forward to seeing you again in another one of my videos real soon.